What is going on guys? Welcome to a new server. It's been so long since we released a new Naruto server and this one has the potential to be probably the best one yet. This mod could save Naruto Minecraft and anime Minecraft servers as a whole. I promise you guys stay tuned for this whole video for all of the information on this mod. We're going to go through jutsus, dojutsu, tailed beast stuff. You guys are going to see it all in this video. I'm not going to go super in depth with each of them because I want to do other episodes of it. But uh, yeah, we're going to show quite a bit in this episode so drop a like subscribe and leave a comment down below what you guys would want to see from a server of this um, we are actually opening a beta access to our server on this and uh, you guys will definitely see some videos on that but if you guys want to get beta access the link for that will be down in the description as well but let's hop into this video so I'm sure if you guys um, have ever watched my channel before, you guys know what you're in. You're in the Naruto world. Um, this is literally the Naruto map. We're in the Leaf Village right now, obviously, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this new amazing mod, and I'll leave a link down to the description um, of the mod creator in his Curse Forge. But uh, this thing is crazy. Like it, it is literally insane. Let me just show you some of these basic natures. Um, it's it is nuts if you guys have never seen this mod i promise you you are about to be amazed so um we're used to the mothiox mod where these learners right you go through and get xp and then you can use um you know the learner to learn the jutsu this mod is a little bit different you have to find these scrolls that give you the jutsu for the learner and then you also have to level up where it says xp on there you have to level that up to the second number and then you unlock the jutsu so it's a little bit of a process but it is worth it so this first jutsu is great fireball jutsu it is um it's kind of crazy i'm only going to use a little bit of chakra in the first time that i show it and then i'll show it fully charged yes you can actually charge jutsu in this mod so that is it not really charged you know here's it a little bit more charged and then i'm gonna just fully charge this thing and you guys are gonna see that is a great fireball um as you guys can tell this thing gets huge um it goes from just this tiny little fireball to a giant fireball that is one jutsu you can charge it however much you want use as much chakra or as little chakra as you want and get it off as fast or as slow as you want like i could spam a bunch of these like small ones or i could just charge up you know a huge one this is actually going to be nuts for pvp seeing how people like you know use different amounts of charge in their jutsus we're going to move on to the next one because you guys have to see all this stuff it's crazy great fire annihilation um, I actually, I think that I know how this one works. Let's go, let's go out of the leaf village though. So we have some like open space to show this off in. I'm also going to spawn zombies so that you guys can see how just powerful these are. I think this one you have to charge fully. So we're going to go ahead and charge it. I think that should be enough. But yeah, as you guys can, as you guys can hear, there are basically sounds in it. Let me actually turn up my volume so that you guys can hear that a little bit better. Um, I'm going to use this jutsu again. And uh, just listen for a second. I'm not going to talk over it this time. So if I charge this up and then I release it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm basically using the real great fire annihilation. Oh, wait a minute. I think I need to turn fire tick off. All right. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. We got it. We got it. But uh, yeah, you can. I think actually, yeah, you can use this fast, fast if you really want to. But doesn't really do much we set one measly thing on fire but if you charge this thing up let's charge it fully why not why not let's just see how crazy this thing can get okay so 30 is the max yeah and then yeah it goes from that one little dude that is nuts that is literally insane okay let's let's extinguish this because uh that's a lot of fire but yeah that's that's the second jutsu in the fire release Let, let's just see actually great fire i think which one is it great fire annihilation that's a b rank jutsu so that's a pretty high ranking jutsu um we'll go on to the next one hiding in ash i actually don't think that i personally use this one let's see what this one does i'm just gonna fully charge it so that we know exactly how it works oh maybe 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 i shouldn't have fully charge it it's going up a lot maybe it goes all the way to 100 past 100 okay we're just gonna release this because i have no idea what this does um 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 does that do damage does that do damage we're gonna have to see this hold on i'll just use i'll just use like you know a measly a measly a measly 35 
Oh. Oh, it sets everything around me on fire. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. And those fire ticks are actually pretty fast. Those are faster than regular fire ticks. That's nuts. And the fact that you can charge it up even more. Hold on. We got to see. Maybe if I charge it a lot, maybe it like one shots things. Let's go ahead and see this. We're going to charge it up all the way. I think it probably goes to like 200. So I'll see you guys in a second here. Okay, so it literally goes past 200. Um, we're just going to use it. We're going to use it in F5 mode just to see how crazy it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so wait. That makes sense. It makes me invisible. That's why it's called hiding in ash, but really it just burns everything around you. But it does give you invisibility, so that's pretty cool. And then the last one is Great Flame Jutsu. I don't think I've personally used this one either. Let's see what exactly this one does. And we still have stuff on fire back there. Let's see what this one does. I'm actually, I actually want to see. We're just going to charge it to like 15. Oh. Okay, so this is... This is basically like a faster fire annihilation. Oh my god, it's still going. So wait, what if I just right click just like one time? Okay, you got to charge it a little bit more than that. I think maybe let's try five. Yeah, so if you charge it to five, it's not that crazy. But let's see this thing fully charged. We got to see it fully charged. Yeah, fully charged is 30. Are you serious? It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Oh my gosh, dude. Fire Jutsu has always been the best. But this is a whole nother level. Dude, there's no way. There is no way that anything ever competes with that. There's just no way. Yeah, that apparently Great Flame is apparently not as good as Great Fire Annihilation. I'm guessing that the damage that Great Fire Annihilation does is better than Great Flame. Great Flame being a C rank Jutsu is crazy, to say the least. Um, let's move on to water though. Hiding in mist technique. Um, I've actually, I don't think I've ever used this. Okay, so actually, this is putting a bunch of fog around me. I know what this looks like, but I do have shaders on, so you can't see the fog. But uh, I promise you, it is putting fog around me, and it gives me um, an ability to see through it. I think. Do I have to turn it off? No. Okay. So it's just automatically on if I have it. So next one is water bullet. Let's go ahead and show you guys this one. This one is actually useful. Everything, dude, yeah, that's doing nine damage per tick. Hold on, let's see if we charge it even more. How much damage per tick can we get? Um, let's see, we've got, okay, so 30 is the max. Um, that's doing two still. Yes, I think I, yeah, dude, 14 at least is what I saw. That is nuts. That is crazy for water jutsu. Let's move on to water dragon. I want to move through these kind of fast so that you guys can actually see them. Um, let's see if this actually puts out the fire too. We'll just charge this to five. Okay, five is actually the max. Um, water dragon bullet. Why did that not work? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got to be on the ground, it seems like. Yo! I haven't seen that yet either. Okay, so yeah, you do need to be on the ground to use this jutsu. Yo. Oh, and it goes where you're pointing. Dude, that is sick, bro. And it does extinguish the fire. So this is actually water actually does counter fire now. It actually makes sense, guys. This dude. Oh my God. This mod is insane. It is insane. Water prison, I mean, we pretty much know what water prison is probably going to do. But I wonder if it's actually a water prison instead of an ice prison like it was a Mothiox mod. Let's see. Um, there we go. So we got to be pretty close. Okay, so yeah, wait. It doesn't really... It doesn't really trap them for too long. Maybe it, it might immobilize them, though. It might immobilize them for a short amount of time. Let's try water shark bomb. This one is actually really cool. So this will put a shark right in front of me yeah dude and you can actually control where that goes i do believe and like i said like watch this see this what see this fire over here yeah um that water is gonna be or that fire is gonna be okay i missed i'm i'm terrible but let's just say that you actually have a little bit of skill 
we're gonna give up we're gonna give up after that one but you guys know what i'm saying if you guys can actually hit um you know a certain block and it puts out the fire and uh you can actually counter fire with water now exploding water shockwave i don't think i've seen this one yet either let's go ahead and see what this one's all about um i think this oh wow it charges really fast okay oh yo i'm swimming around in it yo okay this is sick this is sick i wonder if it's on the whole time i think i might have to deactivate this one let's try to deactivate it yeah you do have to deactivate that so okay what if i just oh so it makes it even s smaller so if i charge this a lot let's just see what happens if i charge it a bunch so 25 is the max for the charge yo yeah dude this is this is nuts oh i'm i'm stuck okay i'm good this is actually crazy how far this goes wait does this put out fire too it's got to put out fire right oh uh, no it doesn't dang oh okay so yeah, yeah yeah now i can actually swim let's just deactivate that that is actually pretty crazy though let me just uh slash dash drain 20. let's uh let's get rid of this stuff and um let's keep moving on um yeah we're gonna have to actually oh that's all yeah okay there we go oh my god wow okay let's get rid of all these water blocks jesus <laughs> that is all coming away but um let's just move on to the next uh pair jutsu which is the lightning release um this thing is probably crazy i don't think that i've tested this too much either so let's see my first impressions on lightning i don't i think that there's only a couple things in here that i've used so let's go ahead and try this one what oh yo okay but why does it zoom me in like this Come on, do i turn this off wait how did i do that how did I do that? I changed the Chidori into like the sharp spear. Oh, yo. Oh, okay. You just click it again. Oh my God, dude. This is, this is crazy, but it's so hard to control. Oh my God, please help. Okay. Put me down. Put me down. Okay. You can deactivate. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Let's chill out there. Okay. So that is uh, Chidori, um, Chidori sharp spear and current i don't know i don't know how you change between those but maybe i'll figure that out eventually lightning chakra mode is lightning chakra mode resistance four from this too yo i am fast bro i am speedy i am speed okay that is actually pretty sick too let's turn that off though lightning beast tracking fang let's see what this does um this has to be a range jutsu right Okay, so it might have a limited range though. It seems like, right? How do I... Oh, you can spawn multiple. Oh, yo, this is sick. This is sick. This is sick, bro. Bro, and they go where you're looking. Okay, that is actually awesome. Let's just see for fun. Yep, perfect TPS even while using that. I can spam... I can spam the... Dude, I can spam this so much and it just... No TPS issues. You guys are going to love this server, man. You guys are going to love this. This is going to be crazy. Um, I am actually ch uh, testing all this stuff on the server too, by the way, guys. Um, False darkness. Let's see what this does. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what jutsu that's supposed to be from the show. I don't think I've ever seen that, but... Hearing. Yeah, let's, let's see this. Let's see this, dude. Let's spawn a bunch of zombies here. Yo, it makes it rain. Okay, dude. That is going to be such B. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are looking where you want it to strike. Let's let's try that again. Let's try that again. This is going to be BM for making it rain all the time, but here comes the dragon. Boom. Yeah that that is crazy that is insane dude this mod is nuts man this is the savior this is the savior to everybody who worked on this mod made this mod developed it worked on it with the people that developed it thank you guys this is this is it this is it let's uh let's go ahead and weather clear this though so that we can uh, not have to hear the rain and let's see what this next one is chakra flow i don't i've never used this either chakra flow Maybe. Is 
Am I charging chakra? Hmm. I actually don't know what that jutsu does. Interesting. I don't know if that does anything. Let's let's go ahead and try the next one. Ross and Shuriken. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have tested this one. Let me let me just uh let me just show you guys how OP this is in this mod. So I'm just gonna shoot one fast. This is a fast one. And it's gonna absolutely shred these guys. That is a fast one. That you can spam. You can spam that. And then now let's say that, you know, I want to actually charge this up a lot. And uh, you guys will see this, this gets crazy. So this is fully charged. We're going to go ahead and toss this now. As you can see above my head. And yeah, all those zombies in that area gone. Anybody in that is gone. That's nuts. And it goes on for a good amount of time. I don't even know what rank jutsu is that. Okay, that's an S rank jutsu. That that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, let's move on to vacuum wave. I think that this is actually good. I think I've tested this before. If I'm thinking about the right jutsu, yeah, yeah. This is basically air bullets. Um, in a way, this is actually pretty useful. So it does. What if I just hit it at one? Okay, so it does one damage if you only hit it at one. Um, let's go ahead and see what it does. Charged up to thirty. 15 per shot. Yeah, this jutsu is actually good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wow, it's still going. That is nuts. Okay. Let's see how much we can charge that up. I was going to move on to the next one, but now I'm curious. I want to see how much I can make this do. Okay, so 50 is the max. Um, let's fly over to these guys over here. I want to see how much damage it does. God, I'm so slow. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Dude, dude, it has range. Oh my gosh, this is, that's nuts. Great breakthrough. I've never used this one either. So let's, a lot of these I have never really used, honestly. Um, so you guys are seeing me experience these for the first time as well. Um, let's see what great breakthrough does. Oh, okay, so that is actually pretty cool. Oh, so wait, what if I just, what if I just quick click this? It's auto charge to five. That's awesome. So this is like if somebody's kenjutsuing you and you've got air, you just be like, get away from me, bro. You're weird. And just push them away. That's actually sick. Okay. Let's move on to Earth Release. Um, let's time set day though. Alright, so we're gonna go through Earth Release. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys hiding in rock jutsu because that is going to be banned. It is stupid. It makes you go through blocks. It's it's literally like x-ray and like just it's it's not great for a server. It's cool because it resembles how uh, the basically Naruto was, but we're not going to use that in our server. As you can see, I already rose up one wall here, but uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. If I just right click real fast, it raises a small wall. And let's just say that I charge this up a bunch. Let's just see how big of a wall I can raise. I've never fully charged this. Yeah, I was going to say, I think 50 would be the max and yeah as you can see oh wow that is actually nuts okay so that is um that is interesting i don't know if this goes back down oh it does okay good i was worried for a second so it does disappear but this against a gin or a tailed beast this is pretty cool that is actually sick it is actually a really good defensive jutsu um, an impenetrable wall earth sandwich for right now. I'll show you guys what this does. I think that, um, I think that this is going to be banned on the server though, because I'll show you guys why, but let's just say, um, that I use this on this zombie. Um, if they move, they obviously don't get trapped in it, but, uh, it does sandwich them in there. Hence the word earth sandwich. But if I, uh, if I use all this and I charge it up a lot, as you can see, I can make this huge and it just traps you there and there's no way to get out. It's a pretty broken jutsu, especially for something that's just a part of Earth. See, I can't even get out of this and I'm in creative. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one's also going to be banned and it deletes the map, so I'm not going to show that one. And then Earth Flow Spears. Let's go ahead and see what this one does. Once I get out of this thing, oh my gosh, get me out. All right, and then the next one is Earth Flow Spears. This one is actually pretty cool. So you actually want to aim at the ground near somebody. I don't know what the range is on this. Okay, so it doesn't go that far. So you do have to be decently close. 
and then yeah so let's charge this all the way up and just see how many spikes we can get to come out of the ground but as you can see these do a lot of damage it one shot that zombie i think this will max out at 50. i lied let's keep charging let's just see how far it goes probably is gonna max out at 100 though right right maybe no okay so we're just gonna use it at 100. this zombie's running away yo yo that is sick okay so you can charge this up quite a bit or you can pretty much spam this and um i think that it only does damage right when it comes out of the ground i don't think that it has like an aoe um like lasting effect like if i were to go into gms here i'm not going to do that actually because i turned my chat off but um if i were to go into gms i've done it before and as you can see these slimes are just Hopping all around in it. No cares in the world. Not taking any damage. Um, it just does damage when they come out of the ground. Yeah, he's literally in there not taking damage. But And then Earth Golem. Earth Golems are actually going to be useful. Um, so I don't know if I have to fully charge this. But I'm going to anyways. I think it probably maxes out at 5. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and use this. Oh, wow. The more you put into it, the bigger the Golem is. That is dope. So now if I just summon like a, a 2.5, maybe one is the smallest you can do. Yeah. So if I use one, <laughs> just like look at that difference, dude. That is insane. So that one has 90 health. This one has 400. Now I wonder. Yeah. So as you can see, so if I go all the way over here, I don't think. Okay. So no, they, they don't follow you actually, but that that's okay. I think that they might come over here if I punch this. No? Okay. So those guys are basically, they just stand there. They don't really walk around or, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy means business. I like his attitude. I like his attitude. Hey, you can stay around, buddy. I think that these might disappear eventually, but that is earth and that is all five of the basic natures. Um, I'm going to leak a little bit of stuff that uh, is also in the mod because obviously you guys came here to see all the crazy stuff which that stuff even though it was just a regular nature's regular um they're awesome so let me just show you guys real quick i'm not going to show you guys the abilities from these yet but uh i'm going to go ahead and put some eyes on and show you just how cool these actually look so if i put these eyes on as you can see they actually look like eyes and they look amazing whoever did those is awesome at design let's go and put on the renegon and uh yeah as you can see the renegon actually gives you yang release and a chakra receiver um let me just show you what this chakra receiver does yeah it impales things as you could guess it impales things um but that's the renegon let's go ahead and put on the ms the MS is sick. I won't show you guys any moves from this, but as you can tell, it looks awesome. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the Tensagon too. The Tensagon and Byakugan are 100% useful in this mod. As you can tell, if you pause it right there, you can see what that special Jutsu one is if you get the Tensagon. And uh, also good news, good slash bad news. You guys can actually steal other people's eyes and you can also lose your eyes in this mod other than the renegon it seems like the renegon is permanent um but the sharingan and byakugan tensagon all that does drop if you die so if you have the sharingan or the byakugan be careful don't just be dying willy-nilly or else somebody might come steal your eyes which is actually a pretty cool feature the eyes in the naruto mods have always been like everybody just has them um but uh, as you guys can tell, there's going to be a need to not die if you actually have those eyes, which is really cool because they are insanely OP, as you guys will see eventually. And then the Kekes, we've got Wood Release. We've got, obviously, Yin, but that's technically not a KG. We've got Magnet, which is unfortunately going to be banned at the launch of our server, but it might be fixed by the time we even launch. Um, Medical Nin. We've also got Ice. We've got Explosion. We've got the God Sword Totska Blade, Scorch Release, Lava Storm, Boil, and we've got Keke Mora. We've got Sage of Six Paths Senjutsu, regular Senjutsu Summons. There is so much to go over in this mod, and uh, as you guys probably know, if you guys give this video enough love, I am going to do 100 days on this mod. I am going to do a series on this mod in the server, and I think that this is going to bring back the good old days, if you guys remember 
when we first discovered the Mathiox mod and made our server for that and made a giant community. I hope to see you guys in the server. I will leave a link down to the Discord. The server will eventually be free to play, we hope at least, as long as no hacking and stuff like that goes on. We hope that this server will be free to play. The beta is only for this next week, so if you guys want to pay to enter the beta, you can. You actually get a Jutsu Create that you have a chance to get any of these Jutsus from. Um, just by getting the beta access, we're giving you that for free, basically. Um, but I hope to see you guys in the Discord at least so that you guys can stay up with stuff. I'll leave the link to that down in the description as well. As you can tell, I am super hyped. This is probably the most excited that I've been about a Naruto mod since I started this channel. I might even be more excited about this than I was the OG mod. I'm not even going to lie to you. Things are just kind of tough right now in this community, but I think that this will revive it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you are new. This is going to be an amazing journey, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.